Have you ever wondered how doctors measure electrical activity in the brain? Well, it's a fascinating process involving a medical test known as an electroencephalogram, or EEG for short. This test is a critical tool in diagnosing and monitoring a variety of neurological conditions, including epilepsy, sleep disorders, and brain injuries. Additionally, EEGs can provide invaluable insights into brain function during tasks like cognitive assessments. The procedure for an EEG test is quite straightforward. It involves placing electrodes on the scalp, which are connected to an EEG machine. These electrodes are tasked with detecting and recording the electrical impulses generated by brain cells. Depending on the purpose of the test, the patient might be asked to relax with their eyes closed to keep them open or even to perform specific tasks. Now, the EEG waves recorded during this test can be classified into four main types. Alpha waves are associated with relaxation and wakeful rest. Beta waves are linked to active, alert, and concentrated mental activity. Theta waves occur during light sleep or meditative states. Lastly, delta waves are predominant during deep sleep or in severe brain disorders. The cost of an EEG test is variable and depends on several factors such as location, the facility performing the test, and whether it's done on an outpatient or inpatient basis. In the United States, for instance, the cost may range from a few hundred to over a thousand dollars. Therefore, it's always advisable to check with healthcare providers or facilities for specific pricing information. Now, you might be wondering how an EEG compares to an MRI, another common brain diagnostic tool. Well, an EEG measures electrical activity in the brain and shows real-time brain function and activity. It's especially useful for diagnosing epilepsy, sleep disorders and monitoring brain function during specific tasks. It's also non-invasive and generally less expensive than an MRI. On the other hand, an MRI provides detailed images of the brain's structure, making it useful for detecting tumors, lesions, and structural abnormalities. However, it doesn't measure real-time brain activity. While also non-invasive, an MRI may be more expensive than an EEG. In conclusion, the decision between an EEG and MRI depends on the specific medical question being addressed. Often, they are used in tandem to provide a comprehensive understanding of both brain function and structure. EEGs provide valuable insight into dynamic brain activity, while MRIs excel in providing detailed anatomical information. Ultimately, the decision is typically made by healthcare professionals based on the patient's symptoms and the diagnostic information required.